Hey, it's John Nemo. Wanna take you behind the scenes real quick. I'm gonna do some real time one-on-one -on -one marketing here on LinkedIn, uh, doing what I call virtual coffee meetings. And I, this is an experiment. I wanna just see how many of these I can do while you're watching and also show you how quickly you can personalize these engagements. And, and the goal of this, to be clear, is to get people onto my sales webinar. Okay, that's the goal. A lot of these people I may have already reached out to in the past and said, hey, do you wanna get on? For whatever reason, they either haven't been on the webinar or haven't bought the course, uh, LinkedIn Riches. So I want to get them back in front of this. I wanna get them back onto the webinar but I wanna personalize it. I wanna do a little bit of one-on-one -on -one professional courtship. So I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna open up these profiles one at a time and you're gonna watch as I do this, okay? So let's quickly look at Joe. He's in New York, sales trainer. I'm immediately looking for something I would use in a coffee meeting, something to joke about, something to you know bring my personality into. So let's take a look. Okay, here we go. That's a thing beach wrestling middleweight world champion okay there's my hook right that's it okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start out now the cool thing about linkedin and i'm gonna close these other windows so we can see is i have context for the conversation like you can see all the way back here joe and i connected december 22nd of last year here's been the bantering back and forth so i can kind of see if him and i have talked about things before so i make sure i don't do anything stupid okay he's just said yes to a few of my lead magnets in the past so let's do this i'm gonna make this a little bigger and then what i'm gonna do is actually go in and say joe i have to ask is beach wrestling really a thing and if so how the heck does it work either way congrats congrats as i see you are what was he called a champion right so See, the stuff, the nuggets, you were a AAU, World Beach Wrestling. <laughs> you are a legit champion. Um, okay. Nicely done. So I'm going to send that. Now, notice this. Uh, and then I'm going to send him a GIF. So let's do wrestling. And let's find him like a wrestling thing. John Cena. Okay, boom. So again, LinkedIn wants you to personalize this stuff. See across the bottom, this is like texting. You can insert GIFs. They now have an emoji button. See that right there? So get my drawing tool. We can do emojis now. We can do GIFs, which has been there for a while. This is for attachments. If you wanna attach files and then photos. I'm gonna go all out full Nemo, right? Full Nemo personality. And I'm gonna really insert some personality into this. So what I'm gonna do, now I've sent him the personal note based on something on his profile, beach wrestling, which is hyper unique to him, of course, right? Then I'm gonna paste in my ask. Now I just gotta fix some spacing issues here. And I'll go through this script quick and then let's rock and roll through this on LinkedIn and see how we do. Okay, so what I'm gonna ask him is, also I know I may have asked you about this before, just wanted to check back, do you ever use LinkedIn? to land speaking gigs or, or get clients. And I believe he's a speaker, sales trainer, speaker, and author, perfect. If so, I have a great and free webinar that walks through my best tips, just reply yes. If finding clients isn't a focus for you, or maybe I'll say, or, and if finding new clients or speaking gigs, since that's what he's up to, isn't a focus for you here on LinkedIn, zero worries, have a great week. So I've personalized the top half with the beach wrestling deal, then I pivot to the ask. Now on the back side, if they say yes, if Joe says yes, here's a link to the webinar, okay? This is because I've already asked before as well, so I've got a secondary answer. If Joe says, and this is notes that I give my virtual assistant, if Joe says I've already been on the webinar, um, but hasn't given me any feedback, cool, what do you think of the webinar? Basically, why didn't you buy, right? Why You've been on the webinar, what's your feedback? So I can learn something from this interaction, okay? So I've got Joe there. So let's dive into another one. I'm gonna open up Marshall's profile. He is a sales manager in Denver. All right, mile high. <laughs> uh, what do you think of legalized marijuana? I could ask him that, because uh, in Denver, Colorado, they have legalized marijuana, okay. University of Redlands, I believe that's in California. Small group leader, so he's a church guy. 
Love it. I'm a big Christian too. Uh, but I don't want to necessarily leverage that for business purposes, at least not right off the bat until we get to know each other. We can share Jesus. Um, I think I'll go with football here. So he's in Denver. Uh, I could talk about the weather. I could talk about the city. Oh, he's, he's spent time in California, and it looks like right now he's in L.A. So I could say, are you, you know what I'll ask him, are you in Denver or L.A.? That's just a quick personalized note. So again, I, I click the message button here, the blue message button. It pulls up context for the conversation. I can see, you know, I've sent him several messages. He hasn't replied. Don't get discouraged by that. Also, like, don't be like, oh, they don't like me. Like, people are busy. They might not respond to all your messages. You always want to circle back maybe, you know, once, twice a month, maybe three times a month if you want to push it. No more ever than once a week. Keep circling back. Find ways to converse. So I'm going to say, hey, Marshall, super quick. Are you in Denver or L.A.? Your profile looks like both. And I need to know which NFL team your allegiance lies with. And then I'll watch this. I'm going to put in a little emoji. Ha, ha, ha. Right? So now I'm going towards sports. You don't have to do this. And I'm sending these in quick little bursts like you would text messages. Because remember, this is how LinkedIn's inbox works well. Texting, right? Text message type stuff. Now I'm going to say... If you need to know my allegiance, and then I'll put in a Minnesota Vikings one because they are the greatest team in the history of the world. <laughs> no comments, Packer fan. There's mine, right? I'm going to send them a GIF. All right, there it goes. If you need to know my allegiance, there's a, a Adam Thielen pointing at him. Okay, now, now that I've sent a couple of personal notes, kind of texting, joking around, Again, this is my personality. If you're watching this and you're in Great Britain, Australia, Europe, whatever, this obviously doesn't have to be the exact same thing, okay? Transpose it onto how you communicate. How do you do one-on-one -on -one coffee meetings? How do you break the ice? Yes, I'm talking to you Brits. I know you guys, you know, you don't necessarily talk crazy sports and things like that, but um, you could talk English Premier League. Which, which club are you a fan of? Okay, so now I'm gonna post in. I know he's a sales guy. I know I may have asked you about this before. Do you ever want to use LinkedIn to uh, add new clients? Because he doesn't do speaking. Okay, if so, I have a great free webinar. Blah, blah, blah. Reply with yes. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, if not, if finding new clients isn't a focus, no worries. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. I'm going to save it. Or I'm just going to copy it and paste it on the next profile. So basically, oh, I have an extra space in there. That's okay. Now I'm going to go to the next profile. I'm going to just try to mix the best of both worlds, which is a personal kind of conversational beginning and then pivot to a business type, you know, ask or whatever it might be. So here's Alan. We'll do one more. He's in Washington, D.C. Okay, I've got him tagged. Uh, he's talking about Twitter here. How to use Twitter to generate leads. Da -da 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 -da. He's a sales coach. Okay, okay, okay. Sales agent. He went to G-Dub. Back in the 60s, okay, he was in crew. Oh, maybe he's still crew. Uh, I'll, I'll mention something about crew. See, this is where you get a lot of good little personal nuggets from volunteer experience or awards, achievements, things like that. Again, accomplishments, there might be stuff in there. That was where our beach wrestler was from. So again, this is how when you contact people on LinkedIn, they know that you looked at their profile. And I think that's such a big deal is, we love our. We love to talk about ourselves. Uh, you know, we love to talk about our passions and our hobbies. So, if you take the time to just, you know, take a few seconds to find something, that can make all the difference. Alan uh, was just looking at your profile and thought it was cool to see you help coach crew. I've never done it, but looks like a demanding and enjoyable sport and then i'm inserting my humor here i have no excuse uh not to try it not to try it i live in minnesota with plenty of water around right and then i'll put in a little laughing emoji ha 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 right because minnesota is a land of ten thousand lakes boom there's my little fun personal intro to alan 
Here's uh, spacing is not saving for some reason. So we'll just do that, do that, do that. All right, do that, do that. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, I'll probably copy and paste them from a different area next time. But just check, add new clients. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. And off we go. So I'm just going to go through and do this for a while. I'll report back to you and let you know how it goes. I see this being very effective. And I'm doing it pretty quickly, right? You can go through. You can look quickly at someone's profile. Find one personal thing to comment about in a message. Then pivot to your business discussion, your business ask, uh, whatever it is. And then move the conversation forward. But again, the idea being inside of here are these one-on-one -on -one coffee type conversations correct so you want to be able to go in and you can see back and forth here we can have these one-on-one -on -one conversations and that's really where you're going to have an effective uh you know exchange with people so i'm going to go down here all right let me see here and, and you'll see the conversation saving the context right there's the gif i used denver la which team you like this is a way to really get people going so give it a shot have at it try some of this remember the theme of this video this quick recording is one-on-one -on -one personalized coffee meetings and doing it without leaving your laptop remember that's the key thing and look linkedin wants you doing this there's a reason they want you using gifs and emojis and things like that they want you chatting and texting with people almost in real time back and forth if that person's also logged in you know if marshall starts writing back i'll see his head pop up just like mine and it'll show he's typing back so again this is where i spend my time this is how i'm generating leads this is how I'm moving people from stranger to, you know, warming them up into a connection, into a one-on-one -on -one conversation, and then pivoting them over to a webinar, a phone call, whatever it might be, whatever my ask is. And I love this. While I've been talking, while I've been recording this, so I'll go in. So 10, 16 a.m., I sent uh, one of these out, you know, with my Gophers crushing the Badgers, the Wisconsin Badgers, the, you know, obviously the college football rivalry. I noticed that Scott had gone to the University of Wisconsin. Four minutes later, right, four minutes later, he writes back, right, joking about the football, and then says, most important part, Go ahead and send me the link to the free webinar. Is it something I could use for this purpose, right? And I say, fantastic, and I put in the script, can't wait to hear your thoughts. And then I insert, you know, one more joke about the Gophers. Here we are eating <laughs> snow, and one of our coaches is eating. It's snowing at this game, and one of our coaches, of course, is eating, what is that, a, a chocolate bar or something? A, I forget what those are called, a dilly bar, Dairy Queen dilly bar. Nothing better than if, if you know the University of Minnesota football than that shot right there. That pretty much sums us up. But again, this is the idea. This is the idea. Not Everyone's not going to necessarily reply within four minutes, but you can go back and look and see the difference, right? I've been messaging this guy since December. And look, no replies, no replies, no replies until today. It just took this one personal note joking about our respective, you know, college football teams. He writes back within four minutes and he's interested in the business opportunity I presented. Could it help him achieve one of his goals with getting more speaking gigs? I say yes. I'm sending him over to the landing page. Now he's over in my automated funnel. The rest is history. I can go back to LinkedIn, move on to my next prospect, and keep doing this. This is why I want you to see the power behind this of these one-on-one -on -one virtual coffee meeting type exchanges. Do not miss this. This is where the money is. It's in this inbox area. This is where you're going to do your best lead generation. So get after it.